carry out some training, then you go out in the real world, you establish some experience and hopefully therefore some competency. And then you've got to prove that competency to CPCS. And a, a, a good route of doing that would be to do, go down the MVQ route. An MVQ basically is the second stage from training and we guide them on what they need to put together. We give them evidence flow charts prior to leaving the center so that they understand the route of an MVQ. And the way it works is, for example, if I'm a slinger and I'm on site and I have a red card, it states I'm trained. I need to be able to prove competency that I can go out and actually do that job and do it safely and follow the instructions. And the way an MVQ works is it's broken up by different techniques. We can observe, we can look at um, evidence, we can use videos and different techniques to go and see. So we will go out to see a, a candidate on site, actively doing that role, undertaking that role and confirming they're doing everything right. We have to speak to management, speak to their supervisors, uh, get testimonies off other people, making sure that they're working in a nice, safe and controlled manner. We advise them, we work with them. It's a very evidence-based criteria. When we put our name on that, that we're saying that they are competent. It's not something that's done over a couple of days. And hopefully then that is leading on to the, to the skilled and competent workforce that we're getting in any industry.